Hello there and welcome to another lockdown video here on Pleasure Beach Experience YouTube. I'm Scott. I'm Becca. This is Paul. Certainly is. <laughs> Certainly is. He's our Pleasure Beach puppy mascot. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about whether the UK parks especially, should they reopen? Will they reopen? What will they have to do? What will the benefits be? Because it's May now already yeah. and it's only like four weeks until some of the parks have got opening dates back on their website. A lot of parks are down for reopening on the 1st of June. I don't see that happening, nope. but maybe people are just being optimistic, I don't know. I think it's over optimistic. There's a lot of work that parks have to go through to actually be able to open to the public. I mean, if you look at some of our videos from Pleasure Beach over the winter, for example, they're testing every day. The rides are running all day, every day for yeah. weeks beforehand. You can't just go from stationary rides for months and months to open and letting people on yeah you know especially wooden coasters need a lot of care and attention well that's the thing you don't know what weather impact has <laughs> yeah. had on the rides i mean of course at the minute because we've said in a couple of videos lately that pleasure beach's engineering team won't be classed by the government as key workers so they probably aren't allowed to go in more than say once a week to do mm. a couple of you know just a little checks fire checks yeah, safety, safety checks. checks but i don't think any of the rides have been run for probably four weeks now yeah um, um maybe longer got, when they've got like pneumatic systems things that you know air oil yeah. there, there's all sorts that's going to be done there's a lot of safety stuff that has to be signed off this is the thing as well and like when you're dealing with computer systems mm. like big one <laughs> icon um things like that i was going to say revolution yeah that's it's of course it's got a computer system, it's not wooden. And then you've got Infusion. Even the Grand yeah. National has got a computer system. Yeah. These will need checks. These will need mm -hmm. to make sure things have not been forgotten. You know what computers are like. Yes. You don't turn it on for a while and they've got a million updates to do. <laughs> I'm not saying that the big one has to do Windows updates, but it might have things that need done to get it going again to, oh, yeah. to be capable of running on a two-train service. I just don't think... With all that's going on, I don't think we'll even be out of lockdown before the first of June. Not full, fully not, out not of it fully anyway. Out, no. So there's a lot of a lot of work for the parks to do mm -hmm. beforehand. They're probably going to have to mark all the floors out. They're going to have to go on a mad cleaning session. They're going to have to test the rides. Yeah. Just the cost alone, is it really worth it for the parks? You have to wonder. So I think we'll get down to the first point of being: should they reopen? Do you think at this point? We're looking at potentially July or August, in my opinion, parks opening, maybe later. Is it actually worth them opening at this point? No. No. Main reason being, if you take the big one, for example, how do you social distance on a train where you're about that far when from When you're this someone? close. Exactly. You're <laughs> yeah. going to have two people next to each other. What are you going to do? Have two in the front, two in the middle, two in the back? It is not worth opening for that. You imagine a queue down the park. It's six feet apart. For the big one, I know they, the capacity is going to be cut anyway. There's already been be. hint, hints to park capacity being cut. So you're going to have next to no one in these parks. No, it, it's just not going to be worth it for them to then spend all that money on putting markings down, to roping things off, to cleaning stuff, to clean a park that size. It's fairly you, expensive to clean it every five minutes once someone's been and you're going somewhere. to need the manpower to do it exactly well. you're going to need the staff to do it you're going to need the staff to social distance from the guests whilst they do it mm -hmm. you're relying on guests to social distance guests who probably aren't even following one-way systems around yeah. supermarkets i just i'd love to see the parks reopen but right now i, I just don't see I don't see it happening. I mean, how do you social distance? If, let's say, lockdown ends in July, as an example, but they say social distance till October, yeah. how are you going to social distance on a roller coaster? Just you can't. Happen. You're going to be using a restraint that someone else has just used. You're going to be touching a grab rail that someone's just touched. You're going to be putting your bags in lockers that people have just touched. You are going to be breathing next to other people. People are going to be shouting and screaming on the rides, which means there's going to be spit in the air, which means that you could catch something. Yep. Yeah, these are all risks that are there anyway. But this virus has not always been there. So yeah. these are all things that you've got to consider. And then you've got to think about the safety of the staff who are checking our restraints, mm -hmm. who have got to socialise with us. They've got to... I just don't see it happening. 
No. Will the government even allow it? I don't think they should. I think as well to put all that extra pressure on winter maintenance. Yeah. Whereas I think if they just leave the rides as they are and then just do everything over the winter and start afresh next year. Yeah. I just I said a, a couple of weeks ago that I thought the parks would reopen this year and I was thinking maybe July or between July and September. I, as it goes on, I just, I just don't see it happening. I really don't. No. I'd really like to be able to say in the summer we're going to Pleasure Beach, we're going to Towers, going to Fort, doing this, doing that, doing all these parks. But with all the big events like Wimbledon being called off, mm. I mean, it just doesn't seem like there's an end to this at this point. And I just think that theme parks will be one of the last things to reopen, which yeah. is a real shame for the industry. But at the same time, whilst they might not be making lots of money from people coming through the guests, how much, coming through the gates, how much are they actually going to save on running costs, yeah. staffing costs, maintenance costs, electricity bills and all sorts of things like that? How much are they actually going to save? They might yeah. save quite a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's obviously a shame because they would rather have guests in, yeah. but it's not like they're having to run the rides empty and spend money on them running empty while mm -hmm. they're waiting for guests to come. Now, in this situation, as much as I feel like, oh, I'd love to go back on the big one and stuff, it's actually the staff I feel the most sorry yeah. for because at this point, it's not like they can do anything else where they can say, oh, go and get a job here or there because even the supermarkets now are cutting down on how many people yeah. are employing. So it's just a tough time for everyone, but it's the staff and the people who have maintained the rides and gone to all that effort over winter to get rides yeah. ready for the summer, and now that they're not running, it must be frustrating. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, at least we had Pleasure Beach for, what, eight days? Yeah, we've got an eight-day season. <laughs> Pleasure Beach could be the only park to have opened this year. Yeah, them in Adventure that? Island, and that's yeah. pretty much it, I think. I don't think any of the other parks managed to open. No. She's crazy, really. But I think Alton Towers will do something over Christmas. Because yeah. they have a Christmas event anyway, I think they'll extend that so that the guests can actually go in the park and yeah. not just people who are staying in the hotels. I think they might say, well, we don't need to do as much maintenance on Wicker Man, let's say, mm -hmm. so we're going to run that and annual pass holders can come in as well. Yeah. Because it's it's a tough one because obviously parks have got to think about refunding everyone who's bought tickets yeah. and stuff. So it's a, there's no good situation out of this, I don't think. There really is no good situation, but... I just genuinely don't see the parks reopening this year. But no. if they do, how do you see them doing it? What sort of measures do you expect to be in place? Because I just don't know how you would do it. The biggest issue I can see is, other than actually sitting on rides and being too close to people, is look at the shambles of getting tickets at any park. Yeah. I mean, it, towers, you're queuing back to the far car You are queuing like this... Close you with people you don't know. Monorail. No, that's it's true. It's too close. Yeah, so you're all going to have to walk. Everyone's going to have to walk. Yeah, that's a fair point. You've got Pleasure Beach, which ticket sales is a shambles anyway, which I'm sure they'd find a way of doing it, but people don't know where they're going and just cram in. Yeah. It, you know, it, people just don't read signs. No. So you have people milling about everywhere. I go back to the supermarket thing. Our local Tesco has got arrows into each aisle. And a even massive I massive seven foot signs to see. But save. you still forget about it. Even yeah. when you go, oh, I just need bread. And you go down the aisle and go, oh, crap, I've come down the wrong way. Yeah. It's, it's so easy. And people don't listen to announcements, signs, read signs or whatever anyway. So yeah. they're not going to do it now. It's not going to be any different now. No. It'll just be, oh, we're in a theme park. doesn't matter what happens. But you also have a massive issue of, say there's a fire alarm. Yeah. In a building. Everyone's going to cram out. There's no social distancing once that fire alarm goes off. Oh, no. Everyone's going to congregate in the same place. You know, there's a lot of health and safety issues to think about when you've got people in anywhere. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry if this video has gone down a tour of being really negative and it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be, but that is just the way it is. I just yeah. genuinely, I think as well with having so many trips cancelled by this point already it just gets to the point where you go well nothing's going to work out this year it's all going to be on next year now yeah and i think hopefully next year will come around quickly especially <laughs> for the parks because again i know that they're probably saving money not running but they must really want guests in yeah and we go back to what we've said before i don't see valhalla being ready for next year no. i don't see how it's possible and i don't see 
the industry being able to have much new stuff in the next couple of years. But I think with before we end this video, I've just got to go back to the same old point. We've just got to support them while we can. Buy yeah. merchandise, buy like puppies like Paul, <laughs> buy Pleasure Beach hoodies, buy Alton Towers 40th year merch, stuff like that. I think we've yeah. just got to get on board and help the industry as best we can while we can't go. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I think we've covered it really. There's not much else to say. We're very yeah. agreeable on that. Unfortunately, we don't see the parks reopening in the UK this year. And if they do, it's going to be probably September time, if we're lucky. And then you question, is it really worth it? Are the general public going to bother at that point? Are they going to feel safe? I mean, one thing to think about is queue lines are cattle penned. Yeah. You going could... back across the same people the whole time. Exactly. You're still going to be stood right next to someone. Yeah, the person in front of you and behind you might be however far away from you. But you've so... got the next one. Yeah, how's your social distance? Because it can still travel sideways. Exactly. Just, even though you're social distancing from the person in front, you're not from the person who's in the next cattle pen. Yeah, and they're not always easily adjusted to have a row empty. No. I mean, I doubt most of Towers lines that are like that aren't that adjustable. I've just got this image of walking in the big one station, the first row being having the social distancing and then the middle row next <laughs> yeah. to it being empty yeah. and then having like some big gap between each bit where you can move around. I just, it's just it, not going to work. It's not going to work, is it? And I don't think they should put themselves through that. No. Because the problem with people in general is they'll do all these things to keep people safe and then because it took five minutes longer to get on something, they'll get hammered online. Yeah, they'll get... TripAdvisor would be like, Ugh. oh, you get hammered. You just get it, absolutely it hammered. People it, forget that they're doing it for a reason. Oh, I queued three hours for the big one because they were only running it on fr three rows. Well, that that's the problem, you isn't it? You wanted a theme park open, you got it, and you didn't want to play by the rules. Yeah, that that's the problem. There is no good situation. No. Roll on opening weekend 2021. <laughs> yeah. The hype for that will be off the scale. It really will. But yeah, I think that's it. I really don't think yeah. there's anything else we could cover. We could no. have probably talked about this all day, but it's just... Let us know in the comments what you think. We we want to see some positivity on this, but yep. really, realistically, don't see it happening, unfortunately. But we can hope. We can yeah. certainly hope. But that's all we've got at the minute. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.